from a single seed to a bloom of 500 petals. A gift of nature or the hand of man? How do the nurserymen reset the peonies' clocks to make them bloom in winter? Can a legendary purple bloom described by scholars a millennium ago be recreated in modern times? For the first time, the secret life of the peony is revealed. In the chill of winter, the villages of China's central plains enter the rest season. <laughs> Sui Yue Chi is in his 70s. As head of the family, he doesn't usually have to do any housework. But now in the depth of winter, with the temperature outside down to minus 10 degrees Celsius, he's boiling up a special soup. It's an annual ritual, which he prepares for the most treasured member of the household. The most important member of Sway's family is going to enjoy the soup. Sway has been taking care of this member of the family for many years. Today, Sway's peony bush is 1.7 meters tall, and the crown extends over two meters across. It can carry hundreds of flowers. It's the talk of the village, though Mr. Sway rarely reveals his horticulture secrets. Today will be the exception. Sui believes the tree peony needs to be carefully nurtured through cold weather, just like a person. The tree is now so large that he feels ordinary fertilizers are not sufficient to feed it properly. A single tree peony rarely has as many as a hundred blooms, and even more rarely lives over 50 years. They usually flower most fully in their second and third decades. In the whole of the Lower Young area, an area famed for its peony growing, there are fewer than 10 peony trees, which are over 50 years old. A carpenter by trade, 
Sway is a man of few words. He has earned his fellow villagers grudging respect for his obsession. The tree's extraordinary longevity is down to the attention Sway has lavished on it since he brought it back from White Cloud Mountain 56 years ago. This is the color of life. In the cold and quiet of the rest season, the peony is accumulating strength and energy. Both tree and man are waiting for the moment it will flower again. More than 50 kilometers from Suego, another village, one famed for its peony production, is also working through its winter season. Wei Jushin is one of two Chao villages' most renowned nurserymen. But winter for him is very different. It's a season of frantic activity and experimentation. Wei Jushin is busy grafting new stems from different types of peonies onto a single rootstock. He is creating what is known in China as the assorted peony. It's a tricky business. The different grafts must all bloom at the same time, showing riot of variegated color and blooms. Wei needs to balance the skills of horticulturist and artist, scientist and businessman. In the three months before Chinese New Year, Wei has to make up 120 pots of the assorted peony grafts. In addition, he also has to deliver another 14,000 plants to Guangzhou in the far south for their New Year flower festival. The competitions there draw horticulturists from all across China. Wei hopes to wow the judges in Guangzhou with a pageant of Lor Young's historic blooms. There are now around 1,300 varieties of ornamental peony. Most people think of the peony as flowering in a bomb of multi-layered petals. However, this is a far cry from the original wild peony with its single delicate layer of petals. The modern peony has only evolved after centuries of careful cultivation. But while these constant iterations of possible genetic combinations have produced blooms of rare extravagance, some varieties lost the ability to reproduce sexually as pistils and stamens mutated into petals.
Lori Young is Peony City, and there are two especially famous varieties with which it's associated. Yao's Yellow Peony and the Wei's Purple. For some, these flowers are a lifetime's pursuit. 60-year-old Zheng Shu Ling is a regular visitor to Lor Young's largest flower market. <laughs> Jung has spent 30 years looking for a real Waze Purple Peony. Jung is one of Lor Young's most experienced horticulture experts. She knows all the complications of the breeding and grafting techniques. She also knows that the modern so-called Ways Purple Peony is but a shadow of the legendary bloom of old. Records from the Song Dynasty in the 11th century describe the Ways Purple Peony as having over 700 petals. This gave it its other popular name, the Flower of a Thousand Petals. Today's Ways Purples have 500 petals at most. Since the Song Dynasty, generation after generation of flower growers have striven in vain to recreate the original flower of a thousand petals. <laughs> 